in my case, I was actually out flying, so uh, the rest of the world knew about it. I didn't know anything. <laughs> so I only got the news when I landed, and that was also a bit peculiar because uh, I, I uh, came out of the airplane and then I was met like a VIP with flowers and a name sign at uh, the gate, not after the baggage as usual. So I sensed something was strange, but it, it wasn't on my mind that this was the day when the Nobel Prize was announced. I, I would have known it, but I didn't think about it. And then I asked why all this, uh, why this special attention and uh, the lady who picked me up, she didn't know, so she knew that it was a prize, but she didn't know which prize. So she mixed it up with some, something else and it was still not clear. And what made it clear to me was, was when I checked my uh, phone, because on that flight to Munich, two hours, then there had been hundreds of calls and then there was a text message from Joran Hansson, who is the secretary of the Nobel Committee, and then I sort of finally sensed it. <laughs> and where were you, my bit? So, when I heard about uh, the, the prize, then I was in a lab meeting at uh, our lab, and it was uh, such an exciting meeting, and it went over time, and I was expecting to have another meeting with another people, so I got this phone call, and I saw it, and I said, no, I, I don't recognize this number, I don't want to speak to this person, I'm so busy. And then I thought, hmm, maybe I should take this phone and pick it up. And I did, and I heard that it was Jöran Hansson. And then I was just, hmm, why are you calling me? <laughs> and then I thought, maybe this is something serious. So I went to my office, and uh, then I realized that uh, it was about the Nobel Prize, and then I thought, maybe he wants to have some comments about another Nobel Prize winner. Just let me sit down and relax. And then he said, no, it's you. <laughs> And John McKeith and Edward who got the Nobel Prize and I said, no, I don't believe you, please, <laughs> can you send me an email so that I can read it because I don't uh, believe my ears. And then I got the email and still I didn't believe it and so it went on and off. I believed it and then I didn't believe it and then I went to the dean and showed uh, the letter on my phone to the dean and said, do you read the same thing as I do? And he was just, what do you have here? And he's. <gasps> <laughs> Nobel Prize? Are you crazy? <laughs> so that was uh, an experience. But when I realized I was so grateful, and um, especially also about um, getting this focus on uh, the work that uh, Edward and I have done and the whole team, and also the support that we have got from, uh, from uh, Norway, from NTNU, from uh, our local university, from politicians abroad, Kavli Institute, and it was just, oh wow, finally we can uh, say thank you to them that they believed in us. <laughs>